Hello, Soul Gardeners, and welcome back to another edition of Meditation Vibration. I'm your Mindful Cruise Director, Julie Zipper, and here we are in Gemini. Yay, we made it to Gemini. Actually, Taurus was pretty good for me. I hope it was for you, too. So, before we get talking about Gemini, I just want to say, in case you had any guidance to do so, my 40-day meditation journey starts in Los Angeles this coming Wednesday, May the 26th. I had said it started the first week of June, and I was wrong. It's actually this coming Wednesday, so if anything within you is calling you to do this, please get in touch with me here in Soul Garden or on Facebook, and uh, it's a dynamic, transformative journey, learning to live from the inside out, man. It's the only way to go. <laughs> All right, so let's start talking about Gemini. What is coming up for me? I want to talk about being the messenger. Guess what? It's not just one person that's meant to be a messenger, or it's not just a handful. Everyone is a messenger. Everyone has a message to give. Yeah? We each come to this earth experience with so many gifts and they're all unique. And this is a great image to contemplate, um, if you haven't heard it before, is that this God, this source energy, universe, spirit, whatever you want to call it, is like the sun and we are each like rays to the sun. So we're always connected. We're individualized expressions individualized. There's something perfect to who we are. There's something perfect to the hair that I chose, the eyes that I chose, the body that I chose, the geographical location that I chose. All these things, there's a perfection to my humanness according to my soul's journey. And there's something about Julie that has a message to give that has a message to bring to this earth experience. So what is that? What is your message? You might be a messenger of joy. You might be a messenger of love. You might be a messenger of peace. Gandhi was a messenger of peace. Mother Teresa was a, was a messenger of compassion and love and action. Let's see here, who else? I can't think of any other examples right now off the top of my head, but I'm sure you can. Think of the greatest, most inspiring mentors in your life, and you can feel what their message is just by being around them. Maybe you feel whole. Maybe you feel grounded. Maybe you feel uplifted. What is that feeling tone that you feel around them? And then shine the spotlight on yourself. What are you here to bring, to give, to message? And I'm going to tell you something. It can be a quality, or you can get really specific with it. And I want to tell you what my message is, because I got really clear on it in these last couple of years. My message is love your human. Love it. Our soul is infinite, eternal, but our human has an expiration date. I don't know when it is, but it's got one. So I might as well love it. My soul knows how to love. Oh my gosh, my soul is love itself. But learning how to love the human, loving my humanness, loving my, my each and every step, whether it's a falter, whether it's a trip, whether it's a leap or a huge spring, whatever it is, can I love myself through it all? That's my message. And that's one of the gifts that I feel like I have to give in this particular earth experience known as Julie Zipper. Love your human. So contemplate this for the next seven days. Be with it. Even ask your friends. Email them. Say, what do you, what do you feel like when you're around me? What are, what are the gifts you think I have? Or what do, you, what do you think makes you feel good about me or when you're around me? And see what they have to say. Ah. All right. So let's turn within and let's do a little meditation and see what our guides have to say. All right. Mm. So I want you to take three deep breaths. With the first breath, Letting go of any stress or tension or holding on in your physical body. And with your next breath, letting go of any stress, tension, holding on in your mental body. And with that third breath, letting go of any stress, tension, holding on in your emotional body. Mm. And I want you to find yourself in a beautiful, natural setting of your own choosing. Make it something that feels good. Make your choice. You can come back and choose something else. Open up all your senses. See it, feel it, touch it, taste it. <laughs> Smell it. Make it alive for you. And then I want you to invite in a guide and just trust whoever shows up. You can say a little intention. I now call forth the guide that has the perfect information for me at this time about my unique gifts and message that I am here to give in this lifetime. Mm. 
and trust what happens. Call forth this guide, be with him, her, it. Might show up as an animal, as a cartoon character, as a flower. Trust. And enter a dialogue. This guide is here to serve you. Say, what is my message? What am I here to bring? What am I here to give? And then ask these two questions. What must I let go of in order to bring this message forth? And what must I become in order to bring this message forth? Spend as much time here as you like, and I'll see you next week. Live, love, be. So God.